Sit down. Sit. Hi there. Right, just had a visit from, let's see, two police officers that's turned up to my mate's house, yeah? Asked to see my mate. Then when I popped around the corner, after they've said, when they've come to the door, the door, his door, saying that they want to speak to him, and they've seen me and I've gone, you all right? Quite happily and quite nicely. Yeah, they've come in and they've gone, oh, we actually come to see you. So they didn't come to see my mate, so they lied as soon as they came to see me first, yeah? So then when I've come quite nicely outside and the two officers, one PC Preston, you should know him, he works here, yeah, he's telling me, oh, um, I've brought RSTCA officer to come and see you. Now this is where things are going to get interesting now. I've got two dogs, one's here, one's not here, oh he's here now. I've come to bring you this dog Preston, you might as well take them both mate. No, but we might as well because what's the point in leaving me like that? You know how poorly I am and you know why I need my dogs. My dogs are to help me. But you've took one already, so you might as well just take him. Can we just talk? Well, I was talking to you before and you literally had to wrestle me a few minutes ago. Telling me I was a man handling you and stuff. And then you're telling me that you're, I'm disturbed by breaking the peace. Right. You, did you not turn up at the flat? And no, no, did you not turn up at the flat, yeah? And ask to speak to my mate first and say it was him. And then after that, yeah, then say, oh, no, you didn't want to speak to me. And then you want to speak to me. And then who was the first person to put hands on the person outside the flat when I said I wanted to go in? All I wanted to do was go and calm down, sit down. You went above and beyond, yeah? Fair enough, that might have been a bad bit of judgement on your call, which I, which I personally think it was. You could have escorted me back in, because there were two of you, yeah? And I wasn't putting up much of a fight physically. I verbally told you what I needed to do, yeah? He's the one that, that everybody needs to watch, yeah? The other ones, nothing, you know what I mean? That's why I'm bringing him in here, yeah? Would he be the bigger one? And he's the, he's the disobedient one, so what's the point in me keeping him, if they're going to take one off me? I've got two, so you might as well, you know, crap all over my Christmas, right off, you lot being, you know, nice in my good books and everything, and, you know, everything, the way how you've all tricked me from since I've lived in Shipley, and, and all the rest of it. I'm not a happy guy, Preston. Do, I, do, you, see, do, you, see, do you see me looking happy? I do, but I wasn't trying to explain things to you. But, but I, do you think I don't know? Do you think I'm that stupid what? that I don't understand what's going on? Well, I don't think you're doing much listening, that's what I'm saying. That's well, I, would you listen if somebody came and took what's practically no. your... These are my kids, mate. I don't get to see my little girl, mate. This is, these are my kids. What? These are my kids and you've just took one off, listen, mate. Right, so, so, mate, so what, what would you expect? Can I just speak for a minute? Speak! I've worked, come down with the RSPCA because they've got ground to suspect that you had um, mistreated that other dog, Bronson. All right, now, so I'd mistreat, mistreat, mistreat him, no, so but I'd want to mistreat him. Right. Same as any investigation, we need to we need to look at what's gone on. So she's done her investigation into um, the circumstances and taken statements from the people that say they've seen. I've been a visit one of them. I'll let you know, because I know exactly who one of them is, and I've told her, because she's got three dogs, yeah? Why are you going around causing trouble when you sat in there in your house, yeah? Where you don't even walk your dogs, your dogs need two hours constant for the day, yeah? To go out and go train and do what they need to do, yeah? She didn't even do that, she sat in there with them, doing whatever she's doing, maybe letting them lick her out or whatever, I don't know, I don't care, yeah? That's her business, what she does behind her dogs. What I do with my dogs is my dogs, yeah, my business. I take them out, I look after them, I clean up behind them, I do everything I need to do. The only thing I have done to them is chip them, yeah? That's the only thing you could practically do me on. But when you're coming up to me and then telling me, after I've tried to be nice to you so many times, yeah? And I'm telling you, Preston, I've tried so hard over the years, yeah, to stay out of trouble. I used to be such a cunt, so bad, you know what I mean? To the point of literally, you know, I used to do stuff for people, to people, you know what I mean? But let's not go into that, yeah? At the end of the day, I mean, I'm trying to be right by you all, yeah? And I've tried to be right from since I've been on Crag Grove with everybody, yeah? But for some strange reason, it seems to me, yeah, that from since I've moved into this little crappy area of Bradford, which it is, yeah, where people aren't doing what they're supposed to be doing, 
yeah, where my landlords don't even act like landlords, and the police aren't even doing what the police need to do to the point of where I'm having teeth knocked out of my face, yeah, I'm being said that I'm getting, that I'm setting people's houses on fire, I've got nutcases living above me that my landlords are putting there because they think that that's alright, remember your words a couple of months, couple of, when you, when you came on that outreach thing, what were your words, too much testosterone in one area, and do you know something, I thought that was very, very, very into you know very I, I commend you on that you know what i mean because you, you're right yeah too many idiots in one area and it's all in communities fault i didn't say that you're, more or less more or less you said you yeah. said too so much well, testosterone in one area that's what that it bottles down to but the camera's bad. not works look the camera's useless right. mate listen i'm not here it is you. useless though you yeah. know that listen right let's just, let's just get to the real issue here the investigation has to take place. I'm just doing my job. I know, you, you know, if you do, you, you love these dogs. I understand the attack. Mate, I've dogs. got love for everybody, right. not just right. dog, everything. The even what you lot do. The investigation has to take place. You can't just go, oh, I think you love those dogs. Let's not do it. It's not a what case of that, but the, it could have been handled a hell of a lot better. The but fact that you cornered me, literally. I'm not going to do nothing to you, but just listen to me. Just let me just show you how... You made me feel, yeah? I'm not gonna actually touch you, yeah? Right. But you was in my purse. Look how you're not even looking at me in my face because you feel uncomfortable. You was in my personal space and you cornered me in the room, in that yeah. much room. I've got anxiety person. Right. What happens? What would you do? What would he do, right? If he didn't know you and you That's cornered right. him in a room. Well, well this is what I'm trying to Right, well, I'm just right. trying to explain to job. you. It's my job to keep the peace and to make sure that you don't go in. I, do I know what you would have done going in there and, and while our PCA officer was seizing your dog? Do I know well, that? you should have thought to yourself, considering the, the, cause, look, considering the way I was behaving was, I've just been upset. You've just right. come and done what you've done, yeah? So bearing in mind, I'd literally just crumple in, yeah? And I'm stopping myself from falling. Right. That's what I was doing right. while I'm shaking. And I'm still well, slightly I'm shaking, down, down, yeah? By, not by cornering me. That's the worst thing you could have done, mate. Right. That's, you don't corner people like that and try, 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 try to talk to them now. There's nobody being cornered. You were trying to get back into Mate, the I want you to go back I in and sit down prevent. and relax. I didn't want you to get arrested. And I didn't want the breach of peace to take place. The only piece that was being breached in, was mine. The PCA officer doing their job and me doing my job. I appreciate you not happy about it. I'm no, mate. That. The matter well, this is what I'm saying. So I've come here now and I'm bringing him and I'm being a good citizen. No, and I'm saying I've got two dogs, yeah. The both, the yeah. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, be, I'm gonna be honest as well. Do you know something, yeah? Because there is, you know, who the, which dog they're from. What was the main reason why you took that dog? Apart from it supposedly supposed to be biting people. That isn't the reason, though. You've got to listen to me. No, but I'm going to tell you something, yeah? There is pity in them. If you listen to what the RSPCA said, mm? the said, she said, an investigation is taking place into the fact you have kicked the dog, you've abused the dog. That is the investigation. Okay. Not so the why would well, well, why, why so I kick them both? Why you brought this dog down here? Well, I brought him down here because I've got two and you might as well take them both. No, and then you can hand them over and let them both get checked, innit? The, the, the investigation isn't into the abuse of this dog. Well, I've got two, I might as well abuse them both. I won't just have one and well, ab abuse that you, would I? That, that don't make sense. That might come in the wash, but at the moment, I'm guided by what the RSPCA officer's investigation says. And to the point of my colleague in the RSPCA in, in bringing that dog in for an examination, if, if you love dogs as much as you say, you'd understand that, wouldn't you? I understand a lot of things, probably well, more than what you think, right. mate. But I don't want to get to big argument with you. I'm not in an argument. I don't want this dog to be left out. I just want to be reasonable with you. We're going to have to arrange an interview. Well, I'm trying to be reasonable with you by saying, that's his brother, I've got two dogs, if I'm such an abusive owner and can't look after anything and such a, you know, poor excuse for a human, why not take this one and make my year, the rest of my year and the way how I feel and my condition, I have a lot worse, because I'm not, I'm not coping, this is, this, well look at, look at me, this is how I'm going to be now, until he comes back. It doesn't mean that that allegation's true, it means it needs investigating, which is... Yeah, and look what you've all done to me, you've just made me worse than what I want, I've got up not too bad today. Unfortunately, I've got a job to do, as I keep saying to you. Mate, you know, sit down with it. See, this, sit down with this on your conscience, knowing that you just made me feel more poorly. You know what I mean? You won't even take the other dog to just to make to make things seem more pleasing. It doesn't. It doesn't make sense in my head. I don't think this will make sense to anybody. In my end, well, well, you might as well because you've already you've more or less you more or less took one off 